Okay, today we're going to be talking about the uh, firmware updating and how to firmware update. People will ask all the time, what headset do I have? Do I have this headset or another headset? And I don't know what headset you have, really, I don't. But it's kind of important because if you want to save like space and data on your Pico, on your Pico 4, you're going to need to know if you have an on OEM or an OEM uh, Pico. And the way to figure that out is to download the check OEM state. Okay. I, I'm on an OEM. Okay. That's what I have. Okay. But if you're on a, I know which one I have for sure is because I've been sideloading APKs all the time or sideloading firmware updates all the time. So I know I'm on an OEM, but if you don't know which one you have, download the OEM check state. Okay. Extract it to your desktop and you will have a folder that looks like this, okay? Um, what you'll need to do is if you've never run any scripts before is you'll need to enable debugging. You can click on settings by going to library and then settings, or you can click the clock and then settings and then general, then uh, about, and then you just click software version until your C developer pop up here. Once you have developer, you click here and then you enable debugging. Once you're there, we're then going to need to uh, install the USB driver. You just click on this, it'll install the driver so that you can communicate to your headset. Once you're there, you'll want to uh, OEM checker. Okay, so all this does is I'm connected to my Pico 3, so I don't know how it's going to be. Okay, Let's see, it says that it's blank. Okay, if you get a blank, if it doesn't have anything here, that means that you are a non-OEM, okay? If, if you don't get it, uh, anything there, it's non-OEM. And I'll show you the difference here, okay? Let's go ahead and grab a Pico 4. And I'll show you what an OEM one looks like, okay? All right, so now I have the Pico 4 connected, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and run a checker. True, you see how it says true there and how it doesn't have it here? So true, if you're true, you are an OEM success. Please press any key to exit, okay? So, all right, so if you have an, a non-OEM, that's what it'll look like. If you have an OEM, that's what it'll look like, okay? So you'll know the difference between the two and that's what it'll look like and I may update this eventually and have screenshots of either so that people know which one is which. But now that you know which version that you have, you can go over here to, um, you can go over here to like uh, OEM or non-OEM and just download what you need. And there you go. There are two different versions of the Pico 3, which is this one here, the Pico 3 uh, Pro. Unfortunately, this one, there's right now we don't have a way to get you any updated firmware because we just don't know. Like the Pico 3 Pro I is the one I'm talking about. It's special. It has its own firmware and I have no idea how to get it. But everything else is fine. Everything else, the Pico 3, if you are if you don't have the Pro I, all these will work. You don't need to do this check. And that's uh, that's how you check to see which firmware that you need. And then once you have the uh, firmware uh, that you want downloaded, then you'll see how to update a Pico. And it's up here on how to do it. So what you do is you download the, the file, OEM or non-OEM. You create a folder and you make it look exactly like this. It can't be anything else. It has to say deload. Then you drag the file into the deloads folder in the root of your Pico 4, okay, or Pico 3. You just make it right there. You drag it on into that folder, okay? And it'll transfer into deload, as you can see right here, deload. And then it'll show up in here. And then you click uh, library and then settings or the clock, then settings. And then, and then you just click on general. Then you click on the file, you click on the system version then it'll say update. Or if you click on applications, it'll have a system update as well. 
I mean, that's probably a faster way to do it. And then check on offline update and then click update and then it'll update. Please make sure that if you have any issues with transferring, if it disappears, just re-add it again and try again, okay? Sometimes it auto-deletes. So sometimes you gotta do that again, okay? And uh, yeah, that's how it works. Make sure you keep your headset on during this whole process because it will tell you if it failed. And if it fails, it just reboots and you don't know. So yeah, make sure that you have it on so you know for sure that it passes and updates, okay? All right, if you have any questions, Leave a comment down below and have a great day, guys.